Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I am going to show you how you guys can use your scientific calculator and uh, there are uh, different buttons on, on your scientific calculator that uh, you want to use it and I will show you how you guys can use it. So we will start. So first of all, uh, the first important uh, button on the calculator is this mode button guys. You see here this is the mode button. So whenever you start any calculation, always set your uh, calculator in the degree mode. So what? How can I do it? Just this, this, this press this button mode. Second, third time you see here degree one. So I always press one here. So it show always this D sign. It's a very small sign you can see here. So it always should be in the degree mode whenever you start any calculation. So this is the uh, first function. The second function I want to mention is is the shift button, guys. So as you guys can see on your calculator. There are small uh, things are mentioned over here, uh, over on the top of the buttons. So it's in yellow color. Maybe in your calculator it's in the different color. So uh, you want to use this uh, function. You have to press this shift button, and then uh, this uh, uh, this function on the top of the button will work, guys. So the it's also called second button. In the, it's also called shift button, guys. So the sec the third uh, button I want to show you is the um, uh, if you want to raise a power to another button so what you have to use you have to use this button guys so for example I have a uh, I have a number let's say 2 I want to raise the power for 7 okay so the answer will come here is 128 so if you want to raise any power to any any number any power to any number you have to use this button guys it looks like an arrow upward side guys and um, the fourth function I want to show you is if you want to uh, know how to uh, square um, how to square a number, guys. So it's very easy. What you have to do is you have to write any number, and then press this X2 button, guys, and then equal. So for the 12 square is 144, guys. So X2 uh, is the square uh, to find out the square of any number, guys. And uh, then if you want to find out the uh, the cube. Of any number there is one more button which is X cube you see here this X cube button so for example I want to uh, do the X uh, to uh, find out the cube for the 12 so 12 and then press this button and then equal so here is the answer in front of you guys so uh, this is another function of uh, the scientific calculator and uh, then if you want to find out the square root of any number so there is a button over here you can see this one you have to press this and then this symbol will come and then square root for example I put I want to calculate the square root of 49 so first this then 49 and then equal so 7 is the answer guys as you know so to find out square root of any number you have to use this button guys and then uh, if you want to do any trigonometric uh, uh, trigonometric calculations you have to use uh, these buttons that is in front of you sine cos tan and uh, there is also uh, if you will use the shift button you can also use the sine inverse cos inverse and the tan inverse guys over here so this is very important in trigonometric calculations and then if you want to do any kind of uh, let's say uh, uh, any kind of fractions so there is a button over here uh, you can use this button uh, this is for the uh, any kind of uh, um, uh, uh, fractions you want to do any kind of fractions you have to use this ABC button it's A B over C so this is for the uh, fractions guys okay if you have question related to the circles then you guys know you have to use the pi so if anything related to pi and you want to insert any value in the pi what you have to do you have to press this shift button and then you have to come here and then you can see here I will show you over the top of exp there is a pi sign so when you press it this pi sign will come here and then you can do your calculation guys so it's very helpful for you if you want to do any kind of uh, uh, question related to circles guys okay and uh, then uh, there is the one more button which is very important is the answer button so normally answer button what answer button uh, is do so I do a calculation 2 multiplied by 4 is equal to 8 then I remove it I turn it on so if you uh, want to uh, use the previous answer into the next calculation you can use the answer button so I will use this answer and then I multiply with 2 so answer was um, uh, answer was uh, uh, so so that's the answer guys so previous answer I multiply with the 2 and then 16 will come guys so 
this is for the answer button if uh, you want to uh, do any calculation in any particular order you have to use this bracket guys 2 plus 2 and then this is bracket guys if you want to do any calculation in particular order you have to use this bracket guys and then in the last i will show you uh, for the uh, percentage so there is a small uh, um, option over here to do any kind of uh, percentage guys it's in the top of the equal button guys so what you have to do you have to press this shift button and then this percentage will come any calculation uh, related to the percentage you have to do it guys so this is for today and i will make more video about the scientific calculator and i hope you like it thank you very much